the next topic on the measure of leverage is break even very very important because this break even concept tells us what are the various levels of profitability which we need to consider and break even is the concept where it determines a key milestone in a business's phase let's understand so first of all break even quantity of sales by break even we mean a no profit no loss situation break even is that level of sales which is to be achieved so that the business neither makes a profit nor makes a loss now this profit or loss could be from a different levels point of view we know that a normal profit and loss statement or the key elements of a profit and loss statement are we have sales first when we reduce our total variable cost we get contribution margin and when we reduce our total fixed costs what we get is operating earnings or in other terms called as ebit and then we reduce our fixed interest expenses to get earnings before tax and then we reduce your our tax to get profit after tax or earnings after tax now the break even levels could be different different break even quantities would be there to achieve break even at operating earnings level break even at ebit level or ebt level break even at pat level as well so let's understand them the break even quantity is that level of sales at which the firm's ebit is zero now here by ebit we mean we are talking about the operating earnings so now this break even quantity will be a break even quantity for ebit the break even quantity will be different for the net income level or the profit after tax level because that will also consider the fixed finance costs or the interest costs into picture so when we consider total fixed costs that is all the fixed costs that the company entails in the business that divided by the price per unit minus the variable cost per unit in short that is equal to contribution per unit so total fixed cost divided by contribution per unit will give you the break even quantity now the different types of fixed costs which will include here will define whether this quantity of break even is for which type of profit level whether it's for ebit or operating earnings or whether it's for net income or the net profit say for example the price is $75 variable cost is $50 fixed costs are $800,000 what is the firm's break even quantity of sales in this picture directly applying this formula total fixed costs that is 800000 divided by the contribution per unit that is sales price minus variable cost 75 minus 50 that gives us the break even quantity of 32000 units now let's understand does it impact our net income say we have the same price and variable cost and we have same fixed cost now we have been given interest separately as $25,000. So this 800000 is the fixed operating cost of the business. So at quantity of 35,000 units with no taxes, what is the net income? And let's also calculate net income when the quantity is 30,000 units. So net income will be the quantity multiplied by the contribution per unit minus the fixed operating cost minus interest expense that will give us the net income of fifty thousand dollars at the quantity of thirty five thousand units let's now replace this thirty five with thirty thousand units and see what net income do we get oh here we are getting a loss of seventy five thousand dollars Remember in our previous slide, we saw that a break even quantity is 32,000 units. So, at least at the operating level where we are covering the fixed costs, $800,000, we are getting 
our break even quantity is 32,000 units. If our operational quantity is below 32,000, we will suffer a loss. And if our operations is above 32,000 units, we will be in a profitable situation. That is what is signified by the break even levels. Now, when we are considering operating break even quantity of sales, obviously we are just covering the fixed operating cost as we saw. When you are trying to cover other costs as well, that will result in a different quantity of break even. So let's take another example. The sales price is 85, variable cost is 60, fixed operating cost is 300,000. Find out the firm's operating break even quantity of sales. Pretty straightforward. The fixed operating cost divided by the contribution per unit that is 85 minus 60, that is 25, that gives us 12,000 units as our quantity break even for operating level.